It's an exclusive first look at Browning's new Liberty Light in action. The gun is at top British playground EJ Churchill's to allow the top lady and other lighter framed shots from the varsity clay shooting teams of Oxford and Cambridge to put it to the test. Uh, we're very privileged to be working with the varsity uh, competition between Oxford and Cambridge University's ladies teams. And we thought it would be an excellent opportunity to bring out the new Liberty and let the, uh, the ladies, the two captains of the two teams, to trial the new gun at EJ Churchill's and see how it performs. I'm really amazed at how light it is. It's a really lovely feel. And yeah, it seems really comfortable in the shoulder and a nice sort of high comb as well, which really suits me. And um, yeah, it seems to be really balanced. There's a really nice balance on it. It's designed to be a lightweight gun but also designed, not necessarily for ladies, for small gentlemen as well as, as cults and juniors. Uh, anyone that doesn't fit the traditional browning stock dimensions. So uh, it's higher in the comb, as you can see, with the Monte Carlo stock. The grip radius has been reduced as well, so there's less gap between the grip and the trigger, the smaller hands, obviously, no palm sweat. Um, lighter weight barrels, light action, so it's an alloy action, but with a steel reinforced breech face. So it's strong where it needs to be strong, but very lightweight, so very good handling. Um, you can change the length of pull with the, uh, the two different pads that you're getting in the box as standard. And um, comes with this lovely deep scroll engraving as well, so it's a very attractive finish. But does lightweight mean more recoil? I'm normally a bit nervous of lightweight guns, and this is like six and a half pounds, so it's quite a lightweight um, 12. And, uh, but there was no recoil on it particularly. It was really comfortable. And that, yeah, that was a really pleasant surprise, actually. I wasn't expecting it to have such a comfortable shot. There's always a balance. If you've got a really light gun, then you'll have a lot of recoil. Um, but this, the Browning, really doesn't seem to have that problem. But with modern cartridge technology, uh, 21 gram, 24 gram, you're not really going to feel the full recoil of this product. It's also backboard, so it reduces the recoil anyway. And also this pad system is a directional recoil pad, so it, it takes the recoil down and away from the face when you shoot. So it's a very comfortable gun to shoot. very pretty as well though, I like the dark walnut stock and the, the pretty engravings here, the scrolling. Yeah, really, really nice gun to shoot with actually. Okay. I think with that lovely um, like neutral, sort of neutral engraving, um, it's got lots of lovely interest to it. And it's a really pretty, sort of pretty gun, but without being um, unnecessarily sort of frilly or, or like feminine, I guess. Yeah, it's really nice. I was really pleased because I've shot a lot of guns that don't fit me um, out of the box and I was really pleased to find that when I picked this one up actually it sits on my shoulder very nicely and it's a really good comb height for me actually and that's surprising straight out of the box. Women quite often we find that struggle to get to one with a high enough comb um, and normally need some kind of adjustment or a comb razor or something so to find one that just um, fitted comfortably straight away was actually really nice. So how long does it take to go from a concept to a product with a gun like this? It's been in development for uh, about two years. We've done a lot of market research with some of the lady shooting groups. Uh, we're making sure that it's absolutely right. The fit seems to be absolutely right now. Uh, we've had great feedback at the British Shooting Show last weekend. And we're pleased to say that the gun is now into the shops as of this week. So it's a brand new product. It's coming in at just under £2,000. So it's hit that key, key price point area as well. Richard Wilson of the Cambridge University Clay Pigeon Shooting Club explains Browning's connection with the varsity teams. Uh, so the varsity competition was set up uh, early 80s competition, uh, similar to the rowing in that it's a, a, a sort of a duel between Cambridge and Oxford, uh, more a sense of pride than competition. Um, but it's been revived over the last few years and, and one of the big things that we're trying to do is we're trying to promote university shooting, the varsity rowing or rugby or things like that, because it's a popular sport, you tend to find universities support that a little bit more or they get external funding. So, and one of the things I want to do was publicly thank David and say if it wasn't for Browning support, uh, we would be struggling because, you know, the cost of entry to this 
as a sport is expensive and I'd just like to say thank you because it's been wonderful. When it comes to lightweight guns, it seems Liberty is no, well, lightweight. But will it be replacing any guns in the shoot captain's cabinet? Well, there's always room for another gun, isn't there? For more information about Browning shotguns, go to browning.eu.